Okay, so today we are going to make or paint this cute gnome and uh, snowman ornament. Um, you're gonna need a few things. You need some paint pens, it makes life easier. Um, I am using some orange, some red, some brown. I'm also gonna use a little bit of um, kind of a off-white spray paint. This one is called Bone. Uh, and we're gonna need a weeding tool to take our masking off. So um, this is like my other layered ornaments. So there's lots of different layers that go along with them. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, let's see here. Let's do all the white first. So we are going to um, take all the masking off of the snowflakes and uh, we are going to take it off of the bits and pieces of the uh, gnome and the snowman. I think I'm going to actually leave bare. I don't think I'm going to spray paint him because I engraved his belly and then we would have just, we'll just end up covering up his engraving. So we're gonna leave snowman as is. So, which means we'll leave the snowflake as is as well. So we're gonna put him to the side. We're not gonna do him with any white. All right, so here, I'm gonna take this off. For this file, I went ahead and did a high quality engrave. So it is a much deeper engrave than what I normally do. This will help keep the paint from bleeding into the other parts. Another thing to keep in mind is we are not gonna hit the white very hard at all. We're just gonna lightly, I can't see what I'm doing. We are just going to lightly Touch it. It doesn't take much for it to show up. Take this off right here. That is a little bit right there. And now for the gnome, we want his beard to all be white. So we're gonna pull all of his belly off, which is his whole beard. So take all that off. And his little mustache part. So take all that off. Okay, so now everything else is still masked. So we've got all these layers right here. Can you see that okay? So I'm gonna take my can of paint. I'm not gonna hit it very hard. I'm just gonna... We just want the appearance of white. We don't need it to be super white, okay? So set those over to the side. Just hit them lightly. Now see how I did that? Like it's not even it didn't even fill into the engraved lines at all, but it gave us that white appearance. So just a little bit, a little bit up top. Hit this one, hit this one, and that one. Okay, so we will let those dry. This one's a little darker because it's a um, it's a walnut. So maybe we should hit it one more time. What do you think? I think it's okay, but I might. Let's just hit one more time. Okay. If you go straight down, you shouldn't get splatter on your sides of your, your ornaments. So be aware of that. So we will go ahead and work on this guy while we're letting the others dry. Um, and the gnome, we can work on some of his bits and pieces too um, in just a little bit. So we are going to, let's see here, 
Let's make his hat. What color should we make his hat? Let's make his hat brown. Um, with maybe a white stripe. So then we don't have to paint any more of that. Or we can make his hat red. That could be cute. Maybe we'll make his hat red. Take that off. And we're going to take this part off right here. Which my weeding tool does not want to grab. So there it is. And then we're gonna we're gonna let's make it we're gonna make it red. Make his scarf red. Actually, we could make this really easy. Let's make his ooh, grab onto the the bird because you don't want to you don't want his whole arm to pop off. And then grab his little tail. Make sure his tail is uncovered. Okay. So we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of red paint instead of hand painting it. This I'm using brick red. So let's just okay. Let's let that dry. Thing is, the red's not going to show up. Whoops! I realized I went off the camera. The red's not going to show up in those engraved areas because the engraved area is so dark. Um, so we're going to let this dry for a second. We'll come back to this. I promise. Okay. So for the gnome, we can't really do that because we've already got this part uncovered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, well, you know what I should have done? Hold on. What could I do? Oh, I could make that natural. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take his hat off. I'm going to take his little sleeves off. And I don't think I have my little red pen. I've just got my big fat one. So we'll see how this goes. Can you guys see it okay? So we are just going to carefully Okay. Other side. Because it's, again, it's that deeper engrave, it helps with the lines. Now, I got it on his little mitten a little bit, but we haven't uncovered that part yet, so it's okay. Okay, now we are going to color his hat. Let's just set it down. And I'm fully aware that this, you know, this is not a file that you're going to turn and burn, but it's a fun file to make, I think. Okay, so now let's color his little brim or his little part of his hat right here. Can you guys see it? I can't tell if I'm on the camera. There we go. Really need to set up a second camera so I can see what you guys see, are seeing. Just haven't gotten around to that yet. Okay. So there's his little hat. Uh, we can make his little mittens and his little uh, shoes brown. And while we're at it, we could also color the squirrel, his little friend. So 
So we will take these off and this one off. This I'm gonna use a finer tip. So can you guys see it? There we go. We're just gonna come in here very carefully, just color his little mitten. Same with over here. And then we're gonna color his little boots. I could just outline his little boots with the fine marker and then go back with a fat marker so I don't have to do the fine marker throughout the whole thing. Let me show you an example. So I could go like this, follow my line all the way around, and then switch to my fat marker to fill it in like that. Oops, see, and then I went over just a little bit right there. That's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna color the squirrel. Like that. Then we are going to, I'm trying to decide if I should color that part brown. I kind of feel like I should, but um, I also feel like I'm gonna be a glutton. Maybe I'll just leave it natural. Yeah. Okay, let's take his little face off. We are going to just leave his face the color of the maple, like that. So now we can take the rest of this masking off, which doesn't want to come off. My masking's really sticking, apparently. And there he is. So now let's go back to, oh, he looks darn cute, doesn't he? He looks really cute. Okay, so now we can go back to the um, snowman. I can't even remember what I took off and what I didn't. Okay, let's uh, first of all take off his nose because we're gonna paint it orange still wet it appears I'm just uh it's not grabbing the masking it's just like going over the paint there it goes <sighs> my masking is stuck We'll get that in a second. Okay. So let's do the orange. So just the just the nose. Like that. Okay. And then we are going to do just the arms. Again, trying to grab this masking. And grab this masking. Fine tip. Because we want cute little stick arms. Into the belly. And this arm. Yeah, we gotta be careful right here because that masking's still on but this is or that masking's off but this one's this one's on okay and then we could if we wanted to paint this 
little strip here brown. face off his body look at that look how fun that is and then take off his body I still have this one piece right here that does not want to come off there we go and then we're just gonna grab the masking and pull the rest of this off now remember we didn't um, spray paint this one because we wanted this one to be kind of natural. And now that I'm thinking about it, well, no, I should have, I'm good. I'm good, that's all right. I'm thinking I maybe should have spray painted just this one snowflake so that the rest of the snowflakes matched it. And I could feasibly spray paint it now if I wanted to because none of that part's gonna show but then I think the snowman's gonna look like dirty snow. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I'm thinking too much. So here is the snowman. Here is our next layer. So we're gonna just go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna take the top part off. So he will layer like this. Actually, that's not too bad. That doesn't bother me. Okay, and then the back piece is a lighter color again. And the lighter color, um, this one is mahogany. This one is walnut. The top one is maple. Um, if you add a lighter color behind a darker color, it helps it uh, pop out because if you went super dark in the back, then it would all fade away. So there's cute little snowman. We have this piece that can go on top and be engraved with a, with a name right here. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's do this one real quick first. So there's your next layer. Or no, that's not right. I actually made it this way. I did the darkest one in the very front. So it's gonna go like this and the little squirrel is kind of peeking out behind that tree. And then this guy. We'll go like that. And then this one goes on top again. Oh, he's so cute. So here's the two together. Okay, so here's a perfect example of why I test cut everything. I got to the point where I'm putting the thread in and realize there's no way I'm gonna get anything through that. I tried and tried and tried and tried. And so I, and then I was like, well, wait a minute. This is gonna be up here anyway, so we're not gonna even see it. So I took it out. So I had to start over with this real quick. Um, hit it from top down, blow on it real quick, <laughs> take this off. Yeah, I live dangerously with spray paint, guys. I don't let anything dry. Okay, so now we should be able to um, make this work. So I need to, let's see probably 
need to add a little bit of glue to this. We'll just spray it. Set it down. And then this is probably not going to be sticky back here because it's the new piece I cut. So we're just going to spray it, stick it down. Line it up. Now remember this part right here is to engrave. I did not engrave any sentiment. So I'm going to I really went through some string trying to figure out what the heck I did before I realized it just wasn't going to work. And that happens, which is why I test, test everything for you guys. Okay, so we are going to feed this through like so. We've got them both fed through. I should probably spray paint this one too so it's white with the others but it's okay we won't do that right now so we're going to feed this through feed this through and then pull them up and i like it when the loop is towards the back like this holds the snowflake on there really tight. So grab, I don't know what I do with my other snowflake, so I'll just grab a new one. Pull off the masking. And I think this could be a fun paint project maybe I don't know I don't know if if it would be enough for someone to paint to make it a paint party it might go too fast but I guess you could do it like if there's wine involved then it wouldn't go as fast when there's wine and chatting those are the best paint parties I think okay so there's that one I think they turned out really really cute I hope you guys like them and thanks for watching.